Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. Today we have Wave 4 of the JDM Tuners, the 155th or 164th, however you want to consider it. The new wave of the JDM Tuners, 164th scale as they classify it. These are made by Jada Toys with Metals Diecast. And we have six new ones today. We have the Toyota Supra, the Toyota AE86, the Datsun 510, the Skyline 2000 GTR, the R35, and then the Skyline GTR R34. Like I said, this is the fourth wave. All right, let me go ahead and get these things opened and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, everybody, we are back and I got them open. Mia wants to help me take them out, so here we go. Start with the blue one. Thank you. Then the gold. Thank you. Then the silver. Thank you. Black one. Thank you. Keep going. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Mia. Welcome. All right. And what's nice about the little cases they come in is they have the name tag on them there. So if you want, you can always leave them in there, put it on the shelf like that, or however you want to display them. So this is the fourth wave, and I always let you guys know about that. Um, so if you want to see others, I will leave them in the description down below. But as of right now, I have videos on wave um, 1A, 1B, then there's a wave 2, a wave 3, this is wave four, and then to my knowledge, I have seen leaked pictures. Um, some of them might be for sale. I don't know if they're for sale or for pre-order, but we are getting a wave five, which is cool. All right, let's go through the card art like I usually do. There is your Supra, your AE86 Toyota, There is the Datsun 510. I'm trying to get it so the light clear is not on it. There is your Skyline 3000 or 2000. Your R35. I really like that color scheme. And then there is your R34. All right. Now let's take a closer look at these things. So, like I said, six of them in the set. Um, some of these are recolors, some of them are new. Uh, Supra's a recolor, Toyota's a new one, Datsun's a recolor, um, Skyline's a recolor, of course the R35 they had since the beginning, and same with the R34. And these do all have their individual item numbers, I believe. So let's just go ahead and get this started off with the Toyota Supra. And we got 30212. And I know these 30 numbers, these are all the new waves coming out. Same with the 124ths and 132nds they got. Now, this is a really nice glossy blue. Almost kind of looks chromish. It does have a Toyota logo on there. It's kind of it's black, kind of hard to see. The black headlights. And then it's got the side graphic going from the bumper all the way to the door and then Toyo tires on the quarter panel and five spoke chrome rim and all these do have the rubber tires all right going to the back and this one does have Toyota and Supra on there kind of hard to see Toyota logo black paint for the taillights again and then a 
almost a matte finish plastic spoiler. These spoilers are all plastic. And here is the other side. Very nice. All right, now this is a new casting for them. First time we've seen this one, the Toyota. And this one is 99806. Let's see, they say on here scale 164. Like I said, this is a new casting. They haven't had this one brand new. I think they also came out with this one, not for the JDM tuners, but um, they did make this in a 132nd and I think a 124th. So if you want to go ahead and search it. So we got a gold color with a matte finished hood and the headlights. I think these pop up on this one, I'm not sure. All right, so then we have the name on the license plate. And I can see here that they didn't. So this side's got um, an orange paint, but not the other side. So I wonder if they just missed that. The windshield has Toyo tires. And then no graphics on this one, just all gold. Chrome rims, rubber tires. And then at the back, it's got the Toyota, a black stripe, and then the red for the taillights. And then there are some graphics on there. And I'm not 100% sure how to say that, which is the car name. Because I always just know it as a AE86. And then this one, of course, is right-hand drive. Nice. All right, next up is the Datsun. Datsun 510. Item number 99143. And I know when this one first hit shelves, people were kind of not getting all worked up about it, but I think a lot of people thought that this was a raw. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, it's a chase and all this, but... From my understanding, Jada does not do any kind of chase models or anything. So, you guys can see this now. So, it does look like it is a raw, but they actually glossed it over. So, the it might be a bare metal vehicle underneath, but you can see there is clear coat on it. And I can see some back by the fender here. So, it might be raw. They didn't throw any paint on it, but they did clear it. So I wouldn't consider that a true raw, because usually the true raws, they don't do nothing with. Same with like the Zamax for Hot Wheels. I don't know if they actually, they just leave it bare like this, but this one they did put a gloss coat over it. So there is the front. Of course, no details on that, just all raw. The only graphic I can see right now is the side one. They painted Datsun with the lines in like a silver color. And I kind of like this one. I like the other color from the third wave the best. And I know they do have um, this model in both 124th and 132nd. There it says Datsun 510. And the spoiler is plastic. And then there's the passenger side. I don't know. Can you guys see that it's glossed over? I mean, you can probably see the reflection of the light. But yeah, and I can feel it on there too. There is a gloss on there. So it is not a raw, it's a normal one. Like I said, to my understanding, Jada doesn't do any kind of uh, um, chase models or anything like that. They might do special editions, but they'll usually say that on there. All right, item number 30213. And this is the Skyline 2000 GT. This one is a gloss black with a red lip, red headlights. Like I said, I think this insert in here is plastic. Then there's your Skyline, I believe it says Skyline GT. Of course, more chrome rims with rubber tires. The spoiler is plastic. I don't know, maybe they are metal. No, they got to be plastic. I can't see them putting an insert as metal. Red plastic. It's got Skyline and GTR. 
and there is a little bit of paint. Is it paint or is it clear? I don't know, they kind of look clear, but they do do something with the taillights. And there is the other side. Nice, that's four. All right, number five for the series is the R35. And I do like this color scheme. Item number 99697. 99697. And it is a matte black with gold accent. And that gold really pops. Gold wheels. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. I do like there's a lot of pearl in that in that gold. And like I said, these I believe are the Ben Sopra editions because it has the crazy race wing and I think it's got the wide body on it. Nissan logo. And then here is your passenger side. Nice. All right. Last but not least, sixth car to the set is the Skyline R34. Item number 99147. We got a gloss red. GTR logo, black paint for the headlights, and then we got the RSR side graphic, crazy chrome rims, rubber tires, as they all are. On the back, it's got the Nissan GTR logo, just all red, no accent or nothing. The spoiler is black plastic don't even think they painted it's just the casting and then the rsr logo again all right so there we go there is wave four like i said i have other videos on wave one two and three so if you want to see the other models go check them out and like i said there are there is a wave five coming uh we're gonna see a recolor of the ae86 and I don't know what other ones there are. I think I only saw two or three pictures of them. They might bring back the NSX. Because I don't think we've seen that one since like wave two. But there we go. Alright guys, if you will, hit that subscribe button. And become a member of the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Where I'll put up all new videos on all different types of cars. We got some more coming up here. Some more Fast and the Furious. Some more Jada. But as I get my hands on stuff, I'll get them opened as soon as I can. And also hit that bell notification. That way you will get notified once I do put up videos. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again everybody and have a great day.